So the verdict is in, and America wants blood. And on a day like today, I asked yourself whether you're ecstatic or utterly appalled by this verdict. I ask you to look at yourself in the mirror and ask why. My opinion on the matter, I'm, I'm just going to leave it unsaid. But what does upset me is this bloodlust that we have. We had the same issue when um, oh, Osama bin Laden was killed. We, we were up in arms. And we rejoiced. And it was the only reason we could find to be happy. And now... We're up in arms because our bloodlust has not been fulfilled. Hasn't this woman suffered enough? A shitty mom does not a murderer make. I said I wasn't going to voice my opinion, but no, I, I am. I, she, she may have... She, she, she was not the best mom in the world. We all know that. But does that make her a murderer? Does defamation of character, does being a genuinely awful person make you a murderer? I don't think so. And the jury did what they saw as right today. This is America. And while the system is flawed beyond all belief it works the system does occasionally work and i think this was a beautiful example of the system working today and if you don't agree that's fine but i would like to know if you don't agree what would you have liked to have seen happen today Because sentencing that woman to life imprisonment, sentencing that woman to death, isn't going to bring that little girl back. It would be a double grief to, to Casey, to her parents. And Lord knows, like, if anything positive can come out of this, it's that this woman gets her life back. Is that so terrible? She gets a second chance at life. Something her daughter doesn't have. I mean, I know my life would be nothing without second chances. Let's not beat this woman up. Justice was served today.